What is good, guys? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with the overall market, what you should be watching for moving forward. I'm also going to talk about what's happening to Apple as we have a very big event ahead of us. Now, this may affect the market's price action as time progresses. But before I do anything like this, before I talk about what's going on with Spy, Tesla, NVIDIA, the QQQ, and Apple, and all these different tickers, and what you should be watching for tomorrow as we have a big event ahead of us, let me just mention a couple of things real quick. I am personally not a financial planner, so take none of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to 12 free stocks. The offer ends very soon, ends in just about three days, so check it out before they run out. Anyways, let's break down what's going on with the market and Apple. So just as a reminder, okay? When it comes to the way that the market is moving, I just want to remind you all that for tomorrow, we have some data coming out. We have the WASTE report at about uh, noon Eastern times or 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, right? It's not going to be that crazy, not going to be the biggest thing moving the markets. The biggest thing affecting the markets is going to be Apple, and I will discuss this in just a couple of minutes. But just as a reminder, I just want to remind you all that for Wednesday, Wednesday is coming up in just a few days. We have CPI coming out. That's going to be the most impactful thing. So that's the biggest piece of data for the week. Make sure you're prepared for that as we approach Wednesday. But besides that, there's not much else data coming out for Tuesday. Just one small report around noon Eastern time. And that's about it. Now for earnings, just real quick, uh, nothing too big coming out. We just have a couple of uh, pharmaceuticals and just a couple of others. That's basically it for uh, the week, nothing too big whatsoever. But what about Apple? What's going to be so big about tomorrow? And the answer is Apple has a very big event, and this event is going to affect how the share price of Apple moves. Now, however Apple ends up moving is going to affect the QQQ, the NASDAQ, SPY, and many tickers out there. It's going to affect the whole market. So make sure you're prepared for this. Make sure you're ready. So when is the event happening? Tomorrow at about 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time, which is going to be around 1 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you're prepared for this. There's going to be a very big move in the markets depending on how the event goes. Now at the event, they are expected to be unveiling the new iPhone 15 and potentially even some new Apple watches. Whatever they say is going to cause some high volatility. Just remember that historically, when we have big events like this, we tend to see Apple kind of like pump approaching the events, then dump right after. That's what tends to happen. We tend to get these like buy the rumors, sell the news events during events like these. That's what historically tends to happen. What do I think is going to happen this time around? However, the thing is Apple has been technically... You know, dropping for the last couple of trading days today it did get a small bounce but overall it is down since ever since like the last few days so there's a chance it could make a, a very different move than what a lot of people are expecting so nothing is guaranteed the best thing to do is try to be as prepared as possible for what the event is going to cause and that's the reason why apple may end up in my opinion holding up initially during the day we might see apple try to push a little bit could even make an attempt to fill the gap in the very low 180s. 182 is now not out of the picture. I think we're going to see lots of sideways price action and possibly a little push. Uh, but it may be very, very sideways going into tomorrow with a small push to the upside. And then it's all going to depend on the event. If the event causes a big pump in Apple, if everything that's unveiled is unveiled and investors are very excited, the market's going to get a very nice balance and we can see Apple approaching 185. But if the opposite happens and we end up seeing Apple sink down very hard, the entire market is going to tank. Unfortunately, I do not know exactly how it's going to go. It depends on the event and these different factors. So I don't know what's going to happen after, uh, you know, like uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time or New York time. I don't know what's going to happen. We just have to wait for the event. Approaching the events, the market's going to likely hold up and try to push a little bit then trade sideways and range trade. I think that's very probable. As far as Apple goes, I mean, could you argue there's like a head and shoulders? You could make that argument that there's a head and shoulders. It's just going to start dropping. It might gap down a little bit and make an attempt to bounce. We might just see very sideways price action on that 180 area. For SPY, however, I think that there's a good chance SPY may try to continue to go higher. We have this bullish market structure that has been developing and a potential inverse head and shoulders. We could see this thing attempt to fill its gap and get very close to like the 449s, reject off that, then trade sideways approaching Apple's event. Then as soon as Apple's event starts, it all depends on Apple. If it pumps, SPY could go to 451. If it's a you know a bearish outcome, we're going to see this thing sink all the way down to 446. It all depends on Apple. For tomorrow, I think Tesla may end up gapping down. 
uh, this is going to be very important. Uh, we're going to be watching this just to see how this ends up going. Uh, right now, in my opinion, it looks like Tesla has been pumping very, very hard. It may get a cool off a gap down tomorrow to retest 270 or so, maybe even 269. Then we may just see it range trade a bit into like very high 260s to 270. Trade sideways for some time. It's, it's going to be a little boring in my opinion. And then it all depends on Apple. If Apple gets a big pump, we could see Tesla try to push push a little higher into like at least 275, 277. If it's the opposite, if we get a big rug pull, we could see Tesla come all the way back down into the 260s. 262 or so could be retested or lower depending on Apple's event. So I hope that's as clear as possible. A gap down tomorrow, a little bounce and some sideways price action then as we approach Apple's event. And then it all depends on Apple's event after that. So hopefully that's as clear as possible. Uh, it all depends on Apple. I can't really predict how that's going to go. For the QQQ, it may gap down with uh, Apple and potentially even like Tesla, then bounce and trade very sideways around the 375 zone. Uh, I think it's going to be very flat, very, very choppy. Uh, and then it's all going to depend on Apple's event. Good numbers, good reaction from Apple will lead to the QQQ pushing towards 380. If it's a bad reaction after Apple's events, then you know it's going to sink all the way down to 374 or lower. It all depends on Apple. The QQQ has come down pretty hard. It looks like it's trying to push up a little bit, but it's still trading sideways from here. So the best thing to do in a situation like this is just to be watching it very carefully, watch it continue to uh, trade sideways. And we're going to be watching to see if this thing can try to break to the upside or not. But I think what's going to happen is NVIDIA is going to try to essentially, it, it looks a little weak considering that it broke below 448 temporarily, which is not a good sign. It may gap down tomorrow, retest 445 to 447, bounce up around that, retest 454, then just trade sideways. I think we're just going to trade very sideways for the time being. Then we're going to react to what happens to Apple. If Apple pumps us after the event, we're going to see NVIDIA push towards this imbalance around 461. If we get rug pulled thanks to Apple, NVIDIA is going to come tanking down all the way down to 440. Okay, so it all depends on Apple. I think we're going to trade sideways approaching the event, and then Apple is going to dictate how we move from there. AMD came down to 105. And we're going to be watching it just follow NVIDIA, in my opinion. May come down a little bit to 104, trade sideways around the 104s, then reacts to Apple. A good reaction will push it back up to about 107. Bad reaction goes down to 103 or lower. Right now, I'm in the middle. It all depends on Apple. I can't really predict that. It depends on the event. If Apple gives us a rug pull, the Nasdaq could come all the way down to the 13,800 level. If it's you know a good reaction, we could fill this gap up above around 14,000. It all depends on Apple. That's going to dictate which way we go. Same thing on SPX. A good reaction, we could fill this gap all the way up here. We might even fill the gap tomorrow in the morning, then trade sideways, then get a big reaction. 4516 is possible with a positive reaction off Apple's event. Negative reaction, we're going to see this thing fill the gap and come all the way down to 4450 for a big rug pull. So it all depends on Apple. Make sure you're prepared for this. The dollar did get a rejection. It's kind of trading sideways right now. It's looking a little bit more bearish. It's been downtrending quite a bit. Uh, it all depends on Apple. So if Apple gets a really bad reaction, we're going to see the dollar start pushing towards uh, 105. If it's the opposite, the dollar is going to sink. So just watch that and keep that on your radar just for safety. Coinbase is looking kind of weak. We were talking about this in a previous video. If this thing gets a bad reaction from Apple, 76 is a possibility. Good reaction, 83 could come as well. For Google, if we get a positive reaction, you know, this thing can start pushing towards 139. A negative reaction, we're going to be watching this thing come down to 136. It all depends on Apple. Uh, same thing with Amazon. Now, Amazon looks strong so far, getting a very nice push. Might gap down tomorrow around 141.63, bounce off that, then trade sideways. Then it all depends on Apple after that. So watch for a gap down on Amazon and sideways price action. A very positive reaction would push this thing towards 145, a negative reaction, then 140 will come. Depends on Apple's event. Same thing with Meta. It may gap down tomorrow, retest 305 to 302, trade sideways around that range. Then we're going to either push up higher towards 310 after Apple's event, or we get a rug pull and come all the way down to about 300. That's going to be very dependent on how things look. We have a bearish divergence that develops technically on Meta, so it should gap down tomorrow, trade sideways, then see a big reaction after Apple's event. All right, so just as a reminder, I can't predict the future. I don't know what's going to happen. Historically, during events like this, most of the time, Apple ends up selling off. Okay, That's what happens most of the time. 
No guarantees, though. I can't guarantee anything because Apple is still down compared to where it was during the peak of the hype last week. So I'm going to be open-minded. We're just going to be watching. I'm not going to hold too many positions through it. I'm just going to be open-minded and get ready for it tomorrow. It's going to be very telling. The market may pump a little bit more, then start trading sideways, approaching this event. Then after that, it, it all just comes down to Apple. Whatever is announced, whatever reaction we get, that is going to affect the entire stock market for tomorrow going into the close. Okay, so I hope this is as clear as possible. It's one of those days I can't really give you guys the best of predictions for the second half. It all depends on Apple, so be ready and do what you have to do. All right, so hopefully this video was concise and very, very helpful. I want the best for everyone. Remain calm, cool, and collected at all times. And I will most definitely see you guys in the next one. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Market to the moon because the long term is very bright. And let's get ready for Apple's event. It's going to be very fun to witness. Thank you and peace out.